what's this called? Latham Park? Latham yeah. Park. Uh, <coughs> yeah. For uh, Wolfstock, the fourth annual Wolfstock, brought to you by the Humane Society. Everybody's up uh, getting set up. Tents are going up. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a pretty big event down Food here, Food booths, I've yeah. Never, I've never been to the wolf stock. I haven't either. Uh, you have a dog, uh, so I do. now you have And I live right down the road here, so I'm only a few, few blocks away, so <coughs> might be a good time to bring the old boy out. Let him uh, let him sniff some other dogs and get acquainted. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> he loves being social. The, uh, the Logan County Humane Society invites you to their... Get your groove on at the 4th Annual Wolfstock, brought to you by the Humane Society of Logan County, Anytime Fitness in Lincoln, Bright Idea Screen Printing and Embroidery, and Forever Home Pet Cemetery on the campus of the Humane Society of Logan County. This free event is held at Latham Park in Lincoln from 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock today, and you and your family are encouraged to bring your collared and leash pets and enjoy the day with lots of food, fun, games, prizes, activities, and live music designed for both humans plus their furry friends, including raffles where you could win fabulous prizes. Don't miss this groovy free family event. And WLCN 96.3 FM will be live from 10 a.m. to noon with Jim, Jeff number two, and Lisa, the Fix 96 prize girl, and the prize vault in tow. Yeah. Uh, special thanks to Humane Society of Logan County, Anytime Fitness, Bright Idea Screen Printing and Embroidery, and Forever Home Pet Cemetery on the campus of the Humane Society of Logan County. I feel like these guys need help with this tent. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's taking them a little while. Uh, you can go help if you want. Uh, the football game today at 11 <coughs> at the high school today. Uh, yeah. They were supposed to play it last night. Big Eisenhower. win last night. A big win. Yep. Zero to zero. Uh, defense was It was such a good game. We're going to play it again today. De- defense held up good last night. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, a lot of games throughout the area. Uh, you said you went to Tri-Valley last night. They played a half and decided that was enough. That was enough. There so, was uh, <laughs> some, some lights in the sky and decided, yeah, let's not come back. Yeah, so uh, other games uh, that were canceled. I did watch the Rochester-Glenwood game. It was on uh, the CW, Channel 23. That was, that's pretty neat. They uh, they have a game each week uh, from your local team. So it was a good game. Uh, Rochester blew them out, but, uh, you know, it was, it was Rochester's pretty neat. Rochester's decent this yeah, year. They always are. Solid. Five-time defending champs. They'll be coming to Lincoln on our <coughs> homecoming uh, here in a couple weeks. Uh but first things first, I we got feel Eisenhower. That's be a good coming out party for Lincoln. Right yeah, you know, you're all giddy and pumped up for your yeah. homecoming, and oh, yeah. you know, you never know. That's why you play the game. That's why you play the game. But uh, any given Friday, Eisenhower, they're going to travel back over to Lincoln today. Eleven o'clock kickoff. Ninety-six point three FM will have all of the action, uh, as well as all the action out here at Latham Park for Wolfstock. So they're going to be busy today. Yeah. Uh, so I guess Paula's on the controls, and she's going to be flipping switches all day long. How long are you guys here today? Yeah. Till noon. Loin's okay, going to be so, here all day. Yeah. Loin's got a busy day ahead of him. Busy day. Busy day, and he's on the tweeting. He's probably tweeting. Fastest thumbs in the Midwest, mm-hmm. right there. Look right at him. There. That's why he has that uh, cover on his phone. He goes so fast, it gets hot and starts smoking. Oh. He was tweeting last night some of the uh, oh, yeah. some of the uh, rain songs. Rain songs? I don't know. There's some game they were playing. Name uh, a song that had rain in it. Yeah. You need a lot of responses. What's that? What did you name? Oh, I don't even remember what it was. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. Thunder, thunder, thunder yeah. <laughs> you don't even remember. But uh, <coughs> football today, uh, football out at uh, little second and third graders have a game out at Eaton Fields at eleven. Uh, football at Hanlon Field at eleven. Yep. And uh, all hey, across uh, Central State. Got to be some youth football today too, didn't there? I just said that out at Eaton yeah. Field. Yeah. Out of Eaton Field. Yeah. What about uh, what else going on in the old town, Lincoln, besides the wolf stock? Uh. Soccer tournament? Oh, out uh, behind Walmart, a big oh. soccer tournament. Uh, it gets bigger and bigger every year. So, volleyball. 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 And <laughs> yeah, wait for it. Yeah. Well, I got text coming in here <laughs> with, with yeah. information. You know. Sorry, this whole tent thing's going to be a little flustered here. 
<laughs> oh Lloyd. I'm gonna answer that right there. <laughs> All right, bets are in. Uh, baseball. How about them Cubbies? What happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just keep winning, you know. They did win yesterday, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they win. Uh, they're at Wrigley now. Cardinals in there this weekend for a big series. They're playing the Cardinals? Yeah, they are playing the Cardinals. Uh, Pittsburgh lost last night, too, though. So that's uh, against, the, the Dodgers? against the Dodgers. That was okay. a late game. So Cardinals can, you know, Cranky was pitching that one, breathe a little sigh of relief. And uh, right over there. You're on TV. <laughs> Wave to the camera. <laughs> nothing. Uh, <laughs> Ours is ten dollars a cup. That's nothing's free here. <laughs> we got free bagels. Uh, hey, what are we talking give, about? Give her some of these French toast sticks. I don't even know. Is that free, man? <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> huh? yeah. Oh, it's fifty cents. Oh, well. You uh, it, pay now. It's free now. We got dial bills. As long as nobody stops her. Uh, <laughs> what are we talking about? Baseball. Baseball. Uh, Pirates lose that uh, the Cubs How win. How did the Cubs look yesterday? Did you watch it? I didn't. I I work. Oh, I figured you'd be all and over that. I, I that listened to it on run. WBBM. Yeah, uh, it was exciting. Yeah, what at times eight to uh, three. Eight to three. So for, if you're a Cub fan, it was real exciting. That sounds like Cardinal game. fans not so much, but uh, Pirates lose, so that brings the Cubs one game from Closer. that top yep. wild card, and that's that key. top wild card could be a key. Yeah, I mean, I you mean, get for, that that one game. Uh, you guys are still in condition to win the division. Yeah, there's going to be I mean, that's, that's a, a lot going to have to happen. I mean, was there like 15 games left? Yeah. About 15 yeah. games left, and you guys are <laughs> wow, six was, out. Oh, wow. I believe six out right now. <laughs> yeah. So, that yeah, that's a lot of I ground mean, to make up, but it's possible. It's yeah. happened before. Well, if, if we can sweep the Cardinals, if, you know, this is all speculation, yep. of course. That puts you what, four out. Four out with, you know, maybe what? And 12, the Cardinals 13? still have a series against the Pirates. Pirates. Next to the last Cardinals have the game. easy road down the rest of the way. Do they? Yeah. I haven't checked out the schedule. Uh, Pirates, probably the toughest. Being on the West Coast right now, they have the Dodgers. And I think they They got have. Kershaw today, I believe, yeah. too. So, so that's not, not a bad thing. Granky last night, who's going for yeah. a Cy Young, and then you got Kershaw right Kershaw after that. followed up with that. Then, that's tough. That's that's not a bad deal for the Coup or the Cardinals, to be honest. Right. So still a lot of baseball to be played, but, uh, you know, I've said it before, usually this time of year I'm in football mode, and it's real. It's exciting. Yeah. It's, and it's fun. And this year, it's not being a Bears fan, it's not so exciting <laughs> to be in football mode. Yeah, so. we'll, we'll talk about the Bears later. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, a little bit. We'll have a little segment on them, but uh, small. Yeah, it's uh, significant. Any Cub fans out there? Cardinal fans? Phone lines are open. Seven three seven three seven nine one. If you want to call in and talk about your Cubbies or your Cardinals, Cardinal fans, are you scared? Cub fans, uh, you know, how do you how you feeling about the season? And uh, you want to give us a call? We'll take your calls. We got a free pizza to give away. Uh, so if you if you can tell us where Joe Ryan is, yes. You'll win a free pizza. Okay, that's our trivia today. There you go. Call in. Tell us where huh? Joe's at right now. Joe's actually updating me on where he's at right now. <laughs> well, here's your free pizza. <laughs> a large one topping free pizza from Stufferia. All you have to do is call in and tell us where Joe's at. And, uh, I had a pizza from Stufferia the other day. It's good stuff. It was delicious. <laughs> It was delicious. It was delicious. We ordered. Uh, what do you get? I get. I get. I like hamburger, bacon, and, mu and mushrooms. I get. If I order pizza, it's a taco. My wife, she gets the super combo. Taco boy. Oh, I love taco pizza. <laughs> boy. Boy. And, uh, well, last weekend we ordered wings and some cheese sticks from there. Oh, Their yeah. wings are phenomenal. You're right. Are they really? Wings? Yeah. They're good. <laughs> Real good. So. All right. Nice little plug for stuff to Rhea. Baseball, back to baseball. And we're back. We're back. <laughs> we're just on tangents today, you know. It's, <laughs> the weather's messed up everything we've had planned. I tell you, you know, you, you look at what what's out there right now. Let's say let's say fall the, the season was over. You got the Cubs against the Pirates. You know, you're you're are you throwing Jake Arietta in that game Absolutely. in that game? Yeah, you got to. Lester, he, uh, Lester's a big game pitcher, man. Yeah. I mean, and that's why you, you and that's throw, why you paid him the big dollars. You throw your but. ace out there, 
And then you got lesser game. It, it's one. one game. It's do or die. It is do or die. You, you throw. It. You throw. I like that too. I don't. There, there's a lot of talk about that. I I, I like that. It, it's more of a, a college basketball kind of uh, final four, you know, win or go home type thing. And I, I think it, for, it really gives you. A, I don't know. Really gets a lot of people into it right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, I'm gonna like it if the Cubs win. Not gonna like it if they don't. Does I that, see. Does that make I sense? Yeah, no, that because, absolutely. I mean, it makes baseball, sense. it's you know, it's all about matchups. But it, it has to give you hope for the future, just to get there. You know, oh, I mean, absolutely. you look at your team. You guys had a good year, and let's face it, this offseason, you guys have some money to spend. Yeah, and you know, the Cubs right now, we are one starting pitcher short, and, and one and closer, a, and a, a closer. And you know that setup guy. And I, know, I, I and, no, and I'll disagree with that. I don't know about the setup guy. You can you can get a setup guy pretty yeah, well, easy, we've man. Got, I mean, we've got, you can develop him. You could be a, a stud starter in the minors. And you're like, you know what? I want you to blow your arm out for one inning a night, as opposed to being you know reserved and held back. Kind of like, that's what the Cardinals did with Rosenthal. Yeah, he was a starter, and they said, you know what? We, this is what we want you to try. They. They tried it out. They had Mott at the time. Mott had just came off, I think, 40-some wins and decided, you know what, let's try it. And then Mott goes down. They throw Rosenthal in there, and he succeeded. So I think that's a guy you can you can really come around with. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, one game, take the season first. and <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Uh, Two. That's three. That's three. Three. <laughs> the over and under was what? Four. Four. I had six. Yeah. So it goes ish. Allison Ferris yeah. looks like she's said no. So up yeah, for, if, uh, if you got nothing to do today, come on out here to Latham Park. All kind, of, you know, it's starting to fill up here now. Live music later. Uh, for a dollar, you can smooch a pooch or. Yeah. You're all over that. Yeah. What's Lloyd doing? Get him away from that dog. Oh, my gosh. They're not even set up yet, Lloyd. <laughs> Can't just go around smooching pooches. <laughs> he's but hey, let's, let's he's take, kissing yeah. random dogs. Let's take a uh, commercial break, come back. We'll talk some NFL. Uh, we'll go over some NFL, some fantasy. If you have any fantasy questions, give us a call. We'll let oh, you. Yeah, I we'll got give that. you all of our knowledge. So <laughs> Let's see. You know, we'll, tell you, we'll tell you who to set, who to yes. start, who's going to win. So stay tuned for all that uh, high knowledge information. You're in the cheap seats on 96. Letting that play out or? I understand what he's doing uh, with the whole dog barking thing. But why? But why? Yeah. Yeah. It's Jim. Jim can do what he wants. <laughs> Jim is the producer. The most this is dangerous on, man on the radio. <laughs> this is on his iPod. <laughs> he drives around Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. He's got it all. It, I mean, <laughs> you cannot stump Jim. He, if, he, if there's a and, song. That unless he, it's something relevant. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a, a dog song or a cat song, Jim's got it. Oh, boy. He's got several dogs. Are you going to bring your dogs up here today? No? He's leaving it's them. It's hard home. on Jim to take all them dogs <laughs> out. It is. <laughs> hey, 923. <laughs> a new record. <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, apparently, nobody knows where Joe's at. They're good pups. Nobody's I, called I know in. Where Joe's at. I do too. But he you, texted me. Seven three seven three seven nine one. Uh, you want to talk sports? Uh, you got something going on today? Yeah. That yeah. you want to talk about? Give us a call. Because we really have nothing for you. Nope. <laughs> nope. Did the line I play today? <laughs> the line I do play today, and they play North Carolina. North Carolina the, State. No, North Carolina. Oh, just North Carolina. Yeah, the just, Tar Heels. Just North Carolina, the Tar Heels. Uh, Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. 11 o'clock game. Okay. I believe it's at North Carolina. Good tailgating there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Illinois, 2-0. and North yeah. Carolina, 1-1. One and one. So, it, I mean, yeah, they're not really playing. They're not playing Big Ten teams yet. No. Uh, I mean, just they're, played they're Western. Playing, they're sticking in the Central State 8. <laughs> yeah. They played uh, WIU last week, uh, annihilated them. But it seems like this team That's is. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. couple. 
couple Lincoln high school kids yeah. playing in that game. Yeah, so. you had Conrad E and then uh, uh, Schmidt. Yep. Connor Schmidt uh, is walk on the on. Illinois team, walk on, yeah. Yep. Uh, and then Adam Conrady, former Lincoln player, uh, slash Rochester. He was over there on the sideline there for Western. Slash, right? he just, he's just a Lincoln kid. Okay. <laughs> Whatevs. Whatevs. Uh, some other college games today that uh, have some meaning. Yep. You got number 11 Mississippi at number 2 Alabama. That should be good. Uh, I like Mississippi in that one. LSU taking on number 15, Auburn. Number 16, Georgia Tech at number 10, Notre, Notre Dame. Notre Dame loses their quarterback last week. Uh, yeah. Kid, uh, little, the freshman, I guess, steps in. and It's going to be it's gonna be hard on Notre Dame to move forward without him. Well, they, they said, you know, they have, those, they have a lot of uh, – Nice things to say about this young kid stepping in. That you oh, know yeah. he's ready well, he's to. He's a freshman, though. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, we will see. Yes. We you will. will. Well, I won't. Uh, number twenty-two, Brigham Young, at number twelve, UCLA, and number seven or no Stanford, not even ranked this year at number seven, Southern Cal. Uh, so some big games. Anytime Stanford and. Southern Cal play, you can throw the record books out the window. That's right. <laughs> Just throw them. Throw them. <laughs> why would you keep them <laughs> inside the window? Yeah, I mean, why would you even you throw care? Them I mean, yeah. 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 Just throw them out. Boy, you're just uh, text the text. You're high. texting the machine. I don't know. Is Lloyd texting you? Are you guys texting back and forth? Uh, <laughs> or do we have different information? And yes, we are. Just texting back and forth. Yep. And... <laughs> it's really it's boy, good it's a it's a rough day. Good thing that uh Jim and Jeff number two are on standby yes. to take over for us. Lisa the Price because showing up. this show is a train wreck. Uh speaking of trains. <laughs> speaking of trains. I just I got nothing. Oh we have a uh little ish he wants a snack. Take one to your dad, too. <laughs> Here. You got to put those on. Say hi to the people. You got to put these on. He's just ignoring you. Just take the whole box. The whole box. The whole take box. them all. Take them. <laughs> so. You want some coffee? Back to our local programming. Nothing. And we're back. We are back. Lots going on downtown. Yeah, just kind of looking around. Crowds it's, uh, showing up yeah. here. It's really filling up a bunch it of is portable Lots tents. Of Allison Ferris is here from uh, our friendly veterinarian clinic here. Yeah. If you need your and dog, she's stealing donuts and running like she's sprinting away right now. Like she put two in her pocket. And what left. in the world? She's. You can't eat all that. <laughs> All right, what, what are we talking about here? Uh, we're talking college, college food. We're talking wolf We're talking wolf stock. Wolf stock. Get it right. Wolf blues at wolf yeah. stock. Josh hey, we Slide. have a caller. Josh oh, boy, somebody's calling in. Go ahead, caller. Who do we have here? Yeah, this is Tom. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Just wonderful. Good deal. Did you find out where Joe is yet? We don't know where Joe's at. Do you? Uh, he should be over at the football game. Boom. Oh, well, guess what? You just won a pizza. That's probably the easiest way to win a pizza because you're probably out there anyway, aren't you? Uh, not yet. Not yet? <laughs> well, time, well, I guess it is only 930. Uh, well, stop by and get your pizza. Yep. Uh, we'll have your pizza. You can stop by Jake's Furnishings. We'll have it out there for you. After 10.15. Um, that'll work. After 10.15. After 10.15. Okay. So. Hey, one one comment to make uh, the football game today. It uh, there is no admission today. No admission. All right. So uh, no excuses. Get on out there. Walk right through. And uh, what what uh, what's your? Uh, That's some cheap entertainment. Yeah. What are your thoughts on today today's game? Um, I hope they can uh, surprise them on uh, a nice windy day because we don't throw too much anyway. So hopefully our uh, running game and defense can. Uh, do something. Uh, Eisenhower, a fast team, uh, so maybe the rain will slow them down a little bit. The field conditions are probably going to be a little sloppy. I know out here on the grass, it's kind of 
soft and uh, slick. So maybe that'll slow them down a little bit, and the Raiders can give them a game. Yeah, hopefully we got two and a half inches of rain today oh. or yesterday and last night. So. Wow. Well, you're probably gonna have a muddy uniform to clean today, so you better go buy you some some Tide sticks. So that's right. It'll I be hope all so. muddy. That, that's <laughs> what football's all about: getting all muddy and dirty and having fun. So, all right, Tom, uh, thanks for calling in, and uh, hey, good I luck. One, one, one more comment to make sure. on uh, the Cubs and the Cardinals and Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, looking at the uh, playoff schedule and the way they change things up with the two wild cards, that uh, one of those teams is only only one of those teams is going to come out of there because they got to play each other. Whether it's the one game play in and then whoever is next is going to have to play the other team. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I know in the past, uh, <coughs> I think they had it set up where you couldn't play within the division. So yeah, it's uh, it's kind of you know you got three of the top teams in the league in the same division and only one's coming out that's uh it's unfortunate but that's just the way it is so yep, yep. Right. and you're a cub fan right uh not quite oh <laughs> well that means he's uh on the other side so all right tom right. don't don't call in again <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding go cubs all right, all right we'll see you good luck railers bye-bye yep well yeah that, isn't that kind of i mean yeah it, it used to be where you couldn't play within your own division. Could be. Could, it, it's probably an advantage, though. I don't, I don't know. There, there's a couple different ways to look at it. You, you, know, you know who you're playing. Right. Whereas if you're going out and you're playing New York or L.A. right now, both those teams are they're, they're tough, man. I mean, you, the starting pitching they have, uh, especially if New York gets rested right now, their, their pitchers look, look a little worn out. But uh, if, if you give them some time and get them some rest, they, they could be looking pretty tough in the playoffs. Yeah. So and, they're, yeah. and they're hammering the ball out of the ballpark, which pitching offsets offense in playoffs every year. So if, you're, if, your, team that, if your team is home run friendly and everything, usually that settles down pretty, mm-hmm. pretty good in the playoffs, yeah. even, even if you're in a homer friendly park. So. Yeah. That is true. You know, Good point. You look, you look at uh, Toronto on the other side of the ball. They they kill the ball, but they're pitching. You know, it, it's not great. Uh, but well, with the addition to David Price, that <coughs> kicks it up a notch. And then if you're the first rounds of what five game series, you know you're gonna throw your ace twice. You know you win that. You know hopefully you get two seven. wins. I think the first round's five, isn't it? Five. Five. Lloyd shakes his head. Lloyd five. Shakes his head. And Lloyd knows everything. And he knows everything. He does. So I'm not if he doesn't that. know it, he googles that, and it's quick. He is Doctor Googleheim. Doctor Googleheim, <laughs> the Google master. Well, hey, let's take another break. We we'll come back. We're going to talk some NFL. What time is that, Jim? What's it got? Yep. Up to five. <laughs> up to six. <laughs> so six. Okay. Don't well, he anymore. laid that one down. So <laughs> stay tuned. We're going to talk some football when we come back. Uh, phone lines are open, 737-3791. If you want to call and talk about your Bears, Bears. Uh, your Rams. Rams look good. Rams. Uh, so give us a call. We'll be back after these this messages. This is how we do it. This is how we It's Friday night. No, <laughs> you're no. <laughs> that was right on cue. What are you talking Stop about? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, let's talk some football, some NFL, because it is football season. Bears. Bears. Uh, now, Look Bears, Packers. Uh, is there a such thing as a moral victory? I say not. I don't know. I, you know, we, we've had uh, some discussions on this, and uh, I don't know if it was the Bears looked better than I thought they could possibly look, or did the Packers have a bad game? I think a little bit of both. Uh, being week one, Packers, I tell you what, that James Jones comes in from <laughs> <laughs> Oakland or, or yeah. somebody just cut him, and he – him and Rodgers don't miss a beat. Rodgers. Uh, but Rodgers, I mean, he just does that to you. He's the best quarterback in the league. Yep. Uh, hands down. Uh, now, the Bears, they hands look down? good. Oh, yeah, easy. 
Really? Uh, hands down. This year, absolutely. We've had one game. Hey, it's my opinion. You can have your own. Oh. <laughs> but uh, being game one, the Bears, they come out. It wasn't a disaster like everybody okay. anticipated. Yeah, everybody. Uh Cutler. I think even the uh, Packers anticipated being a disaster. Yeah, and Mike McCarthy said that. You know, we're going to come out and beat their beep. But uh, they didn't. What is is the beep? Well, I can't say it on air. They're going to kick me off. Uh, (laughs) Wouldn't be the first time. Well, I've said worse. (laughs) But they come out. They competed. They were competitive. And it was a team that was coached. You yep. could tell there was coaching going yes, on. Yes, I uh, will agree with that. You could tell that the, the players were responding. Jay Cutler played within himself. Yeah, he had a interception towards the end, but yeah, that was desperation time. Well, I mean, and and it was to probably one of the best linebackers in the game, Clay Matthews, and he's not bad. He's about one of the only linebackers that can make that play. Clay uh, Matthews is flowing locks, his Goldilocks hair, his man mane. Yeah. <laughs> What is this thing? Get a haircut. That is a drone, and I want one of those. <laughs> and I'm not even joking. Well, from what the sign says there at PM Communications, they have a drone. $1,500. Well, yeah. you can get it today on special for at the yeah. Wolf Stock. I don't know. $99.99. Would... Okay, we'll put that on uh, WCLN, WLCN's uh, <laughs> debit card. So, Jim, hey, dig, we dig can into use those that. deep pods. It's yeah, got it's w- got a camera on it. <laughs> it's got a camera. We could be, you know, the kind of aerial LED coverage. Sc- LED screen do. on the uh, remote. Yes. We could have aerial coverage. I, I'm thinking we're going to go take that thing for a fly. Yeah. yeah. Loin. Loin. <laughs> Loin could just sit home and do it. You don't have to come. <laughs> That's what he's going to mm-hmm. do. <laughs> Actually, they had one of those when we went to Destin after the uh, the shark scare. Yeah. Right when that uh, a, a guy yeah. sent up a drone. And followed that shark all the way out, and uh, it was pretty neat. That's but, uh, sweet. Yeah, those things are sweet, and yeah, I want one. Get one. Well, as soon as I get Pony a, up, uh, Pony Boy. Got to get a raise. But uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'd put it up. Don't tonight. look at Jim. No, See, that thing. That Jim, thing, we, we could make things happen with that drone. That particular item there, uh, wind has very little effect on that. Think so? Very little effect. Very little. I'm telling you right now, you can fly that thing up right now, and it's we're, solid. We're about to find out. Look at these clouds moving, man. <laughs> they are a sponsor of the show, so I think we have some connections. Yep. That's, uh I need to have, have him bring that card over. DNA Communications. Maybe, maybe bring it over. They're to setting you. up right beside us. Uh, grab so that. Grab what? Yeah. That drone. Yeah, that remote. The card. Grab that remote control. No, the remote control. Yeah, bring that. And the remote. And the remote. And the remote. Why are you just bringing that? Oh, I'll bring. Oh. The, I can bring the drone over if I got the uh, remote. Twelve ninety nine for a unique Typhoon Q five hundred four K, an unmanned aerial vehicle. I believe this is the one that the parts come from here in the United States. Number really? one rated meets all FFA or FAA requirements. FFA. <laughs> Future Farmers of America uh. approve the drone. <laughs> My my father is, is salivating over one of these. They have a they have a function you can click it on and all it you don't have to control it. You put it up at the height you want and it will follow you. So if you're driving in a tractor or a combine and you're wanting to video record what you're doing, you put it on uh, the, this follow me mode and it will follow the combine back and forth through the rows so you can see how it's picking well, up. Well, look you there. Watch me follow me technology. Yep. There you go, Jake. There you go. If uh, you should buy that for him. <laughs> well, uh, the uh, the show's not treating me that good, Scotty. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe you need to sell some more furniture. <laughs> maybe I just need to borrow that remote, and we'll see how far I can get with it. No, but those things are cool, and I do want one. Maybe that I can tra- nice. talk Coach Allen to buy one, and I we could film the we could film the, the games. games. Yeah, you know. <laughs> All right. Enough fun with that. Yeah. You're gonna get in trouble. Well. They need, they need some food. Brown. Right there's a box of muffins. Oh, 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 the camera, don't. No, you're. Oh, you're on TV. Yep. Oh, at least at least your rear ends are. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a step yeah. above of what's on there now. And you're on the air. Uh, oh, and 
also that we were just informed by our informational highway we uh, don't forget the big test drive event today from 11 to 1 at growl uh, the funds raised will benefit the lchs choir program and the juvenile diabetes research foundation uh, growl they were at the football field last night uh, rain lightning didn't he stop them you can't see you from there uh, so they were out there last night and make sure to Go get out there out. today for your test drive yeah. Uh, they're going to have... I test drove a Camaro SS yesterday. Why didn't you do it today? That oh. doesn't benefit anybody. Else oh, I take care of everybody. Oh, okay. Jake's furnishing is yeah. big. Uh, oh, that'd been fun. <laughs> I'd run it into a stoplight or something. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Follow me technology. Oh, uh, but man, uh, that, yeah. that was fun. Was it? Yeah, I asked Chris Crow. I asked one of the salespeople, and they were like kind of laughing at me. And then I said, hey, Chris, and, he, and you could tell, like, the sweat was building up, like, please don't ask him. <laughs> then he felt like he couldn't say no. <laughs> Nobody can say no to Jake. It, it, was, it was funny, uh, the look on their faces as I was uh, killing it, trying to put it in their first gear and drive away. Oh, it was a stick? Yeah. Oh. Haven't drove one of them since I was a kid. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll learn you. I, I just peeled out, like, three or four times. No <laughs> big deal. Yeah, and it wasn't on purpose. No. Not at all. He had these big slick tires on him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, they're well, It's filling up here at the old park today. Uh, a lot of pooches. <laughs> Make sure you watch where you step. Because where the, there's a dog, there's a steaming divot. So maybe that would be a good job for you today to just walk around the park for Doo doo cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you've seen my dog, you can you can tell that I'm uh, semi professional at that duty. <laughs> semi professional, that dog. There's some dog. He's he's looking. He's for raring some food. to go. Oh, he's seeing some other pups, and he's like, yeah. I don't yeah. know if he realizes that dog's like four times the size of him or not. I don't think so. Uh, let's get back to football. I don't know. We we got off uh, track again. Phone. Yeah, we have a phone, Joe. 737-3791. If you want to call in, Joe, call in. Uh, tell us your predictions for today's game uh, and what you're doing right now. There he is, right on cue. We have a caller. Go ahead, caller. Yes, can I talk to the fellow radio, please? Um, that'd be a negative. <laughs> You'll have to call back in 30 minutes. Yes. What are you doing today, Joe? Well, I'm going to call in and see how you guys are doing. Well, we're doing real good. We're out here at the Latham Park for Wolfstock. Uh, and, you know, the trivia question for today was, where is Joe Ryan? And we had a winner. Somebody actually knew where you were at. Yeah. So they won we a, had a winner? Yeah, they Excellent. won a free pizza. Tom Steiner, he won. He, uh, he knew right where you were at. Which is Steiner, he's a good listener and he's a big prize winner. I'll yeah, say. he's yeah, it's a good kid. Yeah. They uh <laughs> they're good. stuffed Rhea yeah. pizzas every weekend at the Steiner house. At least he calls Not in. Hard on him to eat those pizzas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, uh so how, what uh what how you, is it out there at the practice yeah. field today? What's going on? You getting the kids ready? <laughs> getting them all pumped you know up, ready to go? It's a, hey, it's a beautiful day for football. Nice little brisk coolness in the air. Uh yeah, Eisenhower we got here about 20 minutes ago. They're all getting loaded up, ready to go. Nice sunny day. Everybody should out watch football and then uh, head somewhere for lunch and watch college football all day. Well, let's and absolutely. Don't, let's and don't forget to stop at Wolfstock. That's cool. Wolfstock and Growl. Uh, if we forget, and growl, we have Growl yeah. going on today, which, uh, you know, the Joe, football you're game. you're a, a new truck, aren't you? Shouldn't you get out of there and test drive one? Well, there's needs, there's wants, and there's what you can afford. So... Yeah, oh, I'm, you, I'm out of that picture. Well, you're, you're get the you, show bonus. You no, know, you just hit all three yeah. right there. I've been waiting for my bonus from the uh, radio show. And oh, well, like, they tend to the give right those man. out like ten minutes before the show starts. Yeah, and you you're always ten minutes you're early. always late. So, oh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be right on time today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you were. We were we were still looking at 9:05, maybe thinking you'd pop in. I but, was uh, turning over new leaf today, and then. <laughs> And then we got last night. Mother Nature oh, did not allow. I tell you what, Joe, Joe is it? 
Thunderstruck. Good call. Hey. Is it is it hard on you to uh, have that short of a turnaround? Yes. <laughs> you know, last it, it, night and then this I, morning. I believe it's worse for the uh, Eisenhower kids to leave here at ten o'clock at night and have to get up and get back over here. But they look all excited, getting off that bus and ready to go. Yeah. Hey, did you guys talk in today? I've been busy doing what I do, um, but I did want to remind everyone that uh, the Arizona Cardinals are coming to town. They are. There's going to be problems over there. They're coming there. to Lincoln? Yeah, they Carson, moved the f- game to Hanlon Field. Carson Palmer. Oh, that's going to be busy. There's going to be problems for the Bears. Are you going to that? No. Why? No, man. I thought you would go. Yeah, I thought you'd be there. I really did. Thought, I, I, thought did, I thought that's why you weren't here today. I can't afford to go to those, man. That's expensive stuff. You count the pain to get in and out of. Yeah. But it's going to be fun. It is Beautiful be fun. day. Yeah, I could have had Green Bay uh, Chicago tickets last week, and I turned them down. We should tailgate at Joe's house. We are. All right. Right now. Well, you tailgate right out here at the football field today. <laughs> we're on a radio show, yeah, Joe. We, yeah, we, we've got obligations. Yeah, with that. Obligations. Like I need you guys all day. You know what? I, is today a good day to buy furniture? Shut today, that place down. Know, it is a good day to buy furniture. <laughs> Big tent sale going on. Yeah. We're, I, t- I was told there's no furniture sales or insurance sales today. Everybody go to Wolfstock and come out to the football game. That's what I was told. Huh. Well, free admission at the football yeah. game today, by the way. Yeah, free admission. So Free admission, so get on out here. Yeah. Tickets I've, are so high, well, we're giving them away. Some people have jobs. Some people have things to do. But uh, the, you know, I, I'm, I'm, uh, there'll, there'll be a good crowd out there today. I tell you what, talking about a good crowd, look at this. It's filling up. It is filling up. They're going to have to move this out to the fairgrounds one of these Something. days. It's getting big. Good. It's running out of room. Hey, Joe. Hey, I want to know your, I want to know your picks. Um, I'm gonna have to, I'll, I'll get mine to you, but make sure you got to get your picks in this Yeah, I, I think I you. won last week, too, by the way. I haven't tallied them up yet. I be, I'm well, guaranteeing if you look that. at that list. That's hey, right. We knew you didn't have it done yet. That was cool. Hey. Joe, I don't have. I'm, I do work. He's you know? saying that his computer it did. went out. I on promise. Him. I had my. I had itinerary printed out there, typed in today, and my computer crashed. Well, here's the deal. I have to uh, handle and watch the Raiders. Yeah. I got to go take care of what I do. You do a lot. Uh, and we appreciate hey. what you do, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. Joe, you be you. you. Scooby Dooby Doo, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get. Nice hey, day, hey, I'll give you a call later. I gotta talk to you about next weekend. And we're tailgating at oh. your house tomorrow. Okie dokie. All right. See ya. See ya. That's the one and only Joe Ryan Joe of Country Man. Financial. Ryan. Uh, Railer game today, 11 o'clock. Go Bears! Bears tomorrow. Uh, Joe's a big Arizona Cardinal fan. Why I don't know. I, I think just, the Bears could win that game. I do too. Hub Arkish has them winning it. Well, I don't <laughs> take much in what Hub says. I do. Do you? I yeah, do. you would. Hub. You're a Cub fan. You believe that Chicago hype. I do. Hub. 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 And Hub we trust. And Hub. Rub-a-dub-dub. This place is full, man. Look at all the vendors. I know. I'm about to walk I'll around. i tell you what. I mean, I, not throw names out there or nothing, but Josh there getting this thing going. From Anytime Fitness, he does. He works hard to get these vendors up here. Is that he's the he's the head honcho? He's kind of the orchestrator the of everything. Of yeah, I mean he he works hard. Gets gets uh gets this big event going. I tell you what, it's not easy to get anything half the size of this going. No, well, I mean, and the, just I mean they've got uh, food vendors out here. They've got lots of pups with their with their owners. It looks like I'm sure there's all kinds of dog accessories. Yeah. Uh, Looks like a the sign. If you want a wooden sign with your name on it, no, oh, those are cool. He's here, yeah. And who doesn't? Uh, and there's going to be some live music. Is that Chris Grau right there, dr- test driving a vehicle, pull around in a big old 2500 HD four by four? That's right, folks. He might be. He's coming got the to, tailgate. Oh, he's coming in he's hot. Coming right in. <laughs> Coming in hot. Don't don't back him up. Don't run over that guy. That big old four by four can probably push yep. about anything out of the way. He might be coming to update us on what's Ooh. going on today. That is a good looking truck. Or right coming to get a payment for you for messing up his, messing up his Camaro yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I think it was fast. 
Don't tell Chris. Those things get up and go, don't they? Yeah. He's wearing a blues shirt. Oh, what is it? Well, I got my Blackhawks hat on, so there you we're go. Heads. You, two can, you, you two can battle. Hi, guys. Hi, Chris. I thought I'd come get on the radio. Chris coming in. Good. That's gonna. We can, we can use you. That's gonna help our ratings because this show has been a disaster. What's the matter? <laughs> oh, it's just. It's just us. Mother Nature <laughs> ruined everything. Yeah. We're, just, we're trying to regroup, you know. <laughs> Cardinals lost. So there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, that, that's the problem, being the, the sole Cub fan. Bob Metz brought that uh, drone. drone out to the store last Sunday and took a bunch of pictures. Pull those on there. It's Tell the people. The email. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. We're trying to get Jim to purchase one for us, but yeah. he's not budging. He just laughs at us. I'd, that, l I'd love to have one of them, but do I need one? No. We were just but talking about me test driving that Camaro uh, the other I day. I heard that. That's what uh, I decided to have to come down and talk to you about Following that. that drone. And he wants your it. debit card for... To, for repairs, <laughs> tires and gas, <laughs> <laughs> and a new clutch. That thing's fast. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't driven that thing yet. Yeah, I that, need to. that's that's fun to drive. So uh, we got a big event going on at Grau today, eleven to one. We just uh, mentioned it earlier, uh, but before that, how did last night go? I know the Actually, rain. We, and we didn't sell out of food, but we sold more food than I thought we would have. Because, you know, the crowd was down there. They all kind of hung out in the pavilion. And That's I thought nice. it went pretty well. Good. Mm -hmm. We did, the, the dealership, us guys cooking, we didn't sell anything. We cooked and then donated all the meat, all the sandwiches to right. the Sports Boosters program. And they sold it. But uh, they, I think they did, uh, for a rain out, I think they did probably pretty decent. Now, and oh my gosh, did it rain out there oh, for a while. Yeah. Wow. And now, are you extending the uh, test drive time today with the game being at 11? Actually, we hadn't really considered it. Um, <laughs> Trying to put you on the spot. Yeah, there, let's Chris. just throw him under the bus. <laughs> well, you know, I figured this is a way to force a decision. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> Let me get back to you on that one. You know, I think we're, we're pretty well set. We've been advertising, advertising yeah. 11 to 1, so hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll work. Um, I think there's enough people here that they need to come in. Oh, yeah. Anyway, somebody call Jeff Maxwell out of here, please. I, I just got <laughs> I don't some know what he's got doing. piece of wire for something. I don't know what. Is that but anyway, for <laughs> from uh, 11 to 1, if you come out to the dealership and drive one of our designated vehicles, uh, we'll donate $25 to the LCHS choir program and $10 to the uh, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. And we've also got Dave Casebeer and John Goldsberry out at the uh, dealership cooking. They're cooking uh, pork nice. chops and bratwurst and all the proceeds from the uh, cookout are going to be split between JDRF and Lincoln Choir, nice. two uh, two programs that we're trying to trying to help support. Good deal. Good deal. <laughs> quite a crowd down here. Yeah, there, I mean, it's quite a crowd. He's got an event going on, man. Well, this he's is great. running out of room. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is fantastic. It is, and uh, a lot going on. People still setting up. Uh, what time is this thing supposed to really take off? Uh, Ten Sorry. minutes ago. Ten minutes ago. It's ten o'clock. People still setting up. Uh, all kinds of things going on here today. What's that say? Lincoln Dental. Yep. So we need to get Scotty from PM Communications to uh, launch that drone and let's see that thing fly. I know. I I tell you, those things are phenomenal. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And you said they had it out at uh, your place. Yeah, Bob Metz surprised me with an email Monday morning. He brought it out last Sunday while we were closed and. Uh, Flew it out front and took some still images, but up high, so the front of the dealership was kind of, you know, oh. you're up even with the uh, the front entry tower. Looks oh. really neat. Enough that might that be something neat for maybe a future commercial. You sure, know, like you a video, bet. and mm -hmm. you know, and fly that around to see the whole lot. And you betcha. I think it really comes cool. in in 1080 HD as well. So yeah, HD, uh, 12 point. Something he sent me. He sent me some pictures where they had it out at somebody's farm and had it up above a combine when it was emptying its hopper into the uh, into the semi. So that was pretty cool too. That was really neat. For thirteen hundred dollars, you can own one, Jake. Sounds like a wise and, investment. Well, and this we radio always, station will be pleased with our progress after we get that thing. And we'll Jim, we'll get a banner and we'll pull a banner behind it for promotion for <laughs> advertising. The banner had to be about the size of this piece of paper. <laughs> Well, Jake, remember, since you own a business, mm -hmm. you can write it off. That's true. There you go. <laughs> so can we go in halvesies on this? And <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to take the whole write off. I'm just going to borrow it and play with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I need to get out there and get some pork chops today. 
It'll be good. They're getting ready to start cooking. Everything we're cooking this weekend is from Lincoln IGA. Best place in town Beautiful. to get me. So you got your blue shirt on today? That was a necessity. I went to the uh, I went to the Bragging Rights game in St. Louis last year, and I was cold, so I oh. bought the shirt down there. Well, training camp started up yesterday. Uh, how how, uh, how are you <coughs> foreseeing your blues doing this year? You know, I don't follow hockey that much. So. I was going to say, oh. they have training camp for hockey? Well, yeah. You can't just show up really, and start playing. I really can't comment. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> Tried. <laughs> I'd say those Chevrolets are doing pretty good in NASCAR, though. It looks like Jimmy Johnson's oh, going to yeah. end up with another championship. And that's in Chicago this weekend? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, start off the, the chase for the cup. Uh, well, they got about 10 races left. Exactly 10. Exactly yeah. 10. And what, what do you pull up here in? Medicare? That's a uh, 15, uh, 2015. 2500 HT Duramax diesel. That is, uh, that's a stump puller there. That thing can pull just about anything you want. Yeah. We got the the, the big new barbecue trailer, so I got to have something like that to pull it with, and it'll it'll pull that and then some. Absolutely. Mr. Well, Neitzel, how are you? Our show has come to an end, and I know listeners are thankful for that. What time does that clock say? Because uh, what time does that clock say? 10:01. Yep, okay. Yeah. Eight. I win. Eight. You did say eight, didn't you? Yeah. Ah! So uh, stay tuned because Jim and Jeff number two are going to take over. Lisa, the Fix 96 prize girls here. Lloyd's going to pack up his gear, head out to the high school. And He's I'm driving be the drone. Filming. Jake's going to try to get that drone. I'm driving that drone. And uh, I'm going to go ref some football. So a lot going on today. Get down here to the Wolfstock 4th Annual. Jake's Pershing's big tent Jake, sale. Jake's going to set up a tent and... Uh, Hand out crackers or something if you yeah. buy a recliner. Or cracker. A cracker. Cracker. Okay. So stay tuned. Thanks for having me, guys. Yep. Thanks, Thanks Chris. Chris. You've been in the cheap seats on 96.3 FM. Good day.